Okay, so we've got the two mowers apart, and um, obviously the motor's not going to be a direct bolt in. That was kind of a given. Um, but I did seem to find what that cause of slight vibration was on the electric motor. One of the teeth is broken off of the cooling fan. Uh, so I'm going to have to see if I can re or find a replacement for this on eBay or something. Um, but the original blade is probably not going to work because it's stepped up like this. It's a mulching blade. And being that this is a low profile deck, it's the blade's going to hit the deck and um, it's still going to be barely below the line of the deck. Um, but we'll be able to use the original blade, which is this blade here, which is a flat blade. Um, and it isn't going to fit on here because the hole on that's much larger but what I can do is just sand this little nub off of the fan because the hole in the original blade is the same size as the shaft on the electric motor actually it's slight it's very tight fit um, so that will work directly on there so now the trick is going to be figuring out how to mount it. Um, it's still going to have to be mounted maybe about an inch up in the original motor hole. So the fan is not going to be completely below the deck. But I'm thinking I should be able to just... Uh, Build, get like a flat piece of sheet, or not sheet metal, but plate metal, and um, cut a hole in it to fit the motor, and drill some mounting screws, and spa just space it up with spacers, and probably also drill a fourth hole, maybe about here, to strengthen the mounting a little bit. Um, but I'll fiddle around with that and see how I can, what I can come up with, what I've got laying around, or maybe I can find something that'll work straight out. But anyway, there we go. Um, funny part is that this magnesium deck from the Han with the handle is lighter than that plastic tub from the electric mower. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. I don't know why they would make it out of plastic other than the fact of being electrically isolated. But anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching and we'll be back as soon as I can figure out how to mount this motor.